Today, uh, today we're going to be paying respects to uh, my Uncle Neil. He was my mom's uncle. And uh, he was one of the toughest men I ever knew in my life. He, uh, he was pretty hard, pretty tough. And uh, today we saddled a horse for him this morning because a couple days ago he went to be with the Lord. And uh, his funeral is today. And we're going to pay respects to a man that done so much in our lives. And this man was, was very tough. He uh, he lived out in Fowlerton, Texas. And anybody knows Fowlerton, Texas, it, you got to be pretty rank, pretty hard to live out there. And uh, there ain't nothing out there but a bunch of cactuses and stickers and then some more stickers. And uh, <clears throat> this man lived out there, raised a family, and uh, lived a simple life out there. He's one of the last men I've ever known that just till a few years ago, he still caught his rainwater and uh, had all his water come straight out of the sky. Didn't have no no well, nothing. And uh, he was so tough, you could probably cut him with a knife and it probably just dulled your knife. He, he was, his hands looked like leather and uh, he was he was really, really tough. And uh, stuff, but even being a tough man, he had the sweetest smile. He had the most contagious smile and stuff. And the, the neatest thing about him was the stories. And, uh, man, he had some of the coolest stories and detailed. And he had stories from anywhere from roping renegades to busting Bronx to uh, the rattlers he'd caught and the coyotes he had shot and tamed. And uh, he had also had stories about working hard and just living a simple life. And uh, <coughs> he's uh, he's been one of the biggest inspirations in getting cowboy churches started around here, even though we've never talked about it. We've never... Uh, disgusted or nothing else he uh but <clears throat> what he had showed me he showed me that he can be a tough man and you can be a hard man and uh you can still live for the lord it uh and by living for the lord and just quit chasing the things of this world and just start living for the simple things it uh he showed me that you can go through the toughest things in this life and not be chasing stuff all through this world and trying to, to catch everything that comes by. Just live a simple life and trust in Jesus Christ. And uh, I got to witness one of the <clears throat> amazing deal several years back. <coughs> his uh, his wife B is my wife, my mom's uh, <coughs> aunt is my grandma's sister. And uh, <coughs> she at the end of her life she struggled quite a bit, had a tough end of her life, and he doctored her all the way through and stayed by her side. And uh, stay strong, even though it took a pretty good toll on him. And uh, stuff, seeing your loved ones have to suffer and, and die. And uh, <clears throat> he went through that deal. Well, <clears throat> we ended up going down there for the for B's funeral, and <clears throat> we uh, got down there. Man, he had a, he had a smile on his face. He was happy, and uh, <clears throat> he uh, <clears throat> he knew that <clears throat> he was gonna see her again one day. Well, we went to the funeral and stuff. Well, he actually finally he broke down. Even though he was so tough, he broke down, and I seen him cry. And uh, he uh, he ended up uh, the tears he had though, man, they weren't tears of hatred. They weren't tears of missing her. They were tears of joy that he was gonna be able to see her in a little while. And uh, <coughs> stuff and <coughs> it uh. There ain't a whole lot of men left like him that can go through that kind of pain, that kind of struggle, even being a tough man already, and uh, go through it and just be happy. And uh, it's a neat deal to see how how tough of a man he was with a simple life as he lived, but just living it for Jesus Christ. And uh, in uh, 1 Corinthians 11, 1, it... Uh, <coughs> Paul's writing, and he's talking about being imitators of him. It says, be imitators of me, just as I also am of Christ. And Paul was wanting to be imitators of him because he was trying to be an imitator of Jesus Christ. And this tough man, without ever saying it, that's the message I got from him. He wants us, He want, we need to be like a, that Uncle Neil. We need to be a tough man that lives a simple life. Quit chasing the stuff of this world and just live a life for Jesus Christ. And uh, <clears throat> I asked 
every man out there. So are, are you that man? Are you a man that's that tough that could go up the rankest, biggest bulls out there or whoop anybody in the country? <clears throat> be a tough man. But at the same time, be a tough man for Jesus Christ. And uh, <coughs> I want every man to know out there that you can be that tough man. You are that tough man if you're a Christian and stuff. And <clears throat> all we need is Jesus Christ in our life to get us through the biggest, toughest things in our in our our life. And know that it's all right to be a tough man. It's all right to go through this life and get a little rusted. Let the world whoop on you a little bit. Be a tough man. Be a cowboy for the rest of your life or whatever. But uh, do it for Jesus Christ. And uh, ask everybody just take your hats off sometime for my Uncle Neil, just show a little respect <coughs> for a man that was pretty tough. <coughs>